so far in this course, you've learned how to create a block using views and how to add blocks to regions and control their visibility. But what if you want to create a block with just text in it? What if you want to add a call to action into the sidebar and have the text editable and not hard coded? Now in Drupal 8, there's a new module called Custom Block. The module allows you to create custom block content and define block types. If you use the standard installation profile, it's already installed. To play around with custom blocks, just go to Structure, Block Layout, and click on Custom Block Library. From this page, you can create a custom block, just enter in a description and some text into the body field. You can also manage custom blocks from here. We haven't created any, so nothing appears. If you need to create a block type, you can do it from this page. By default, you start off with the basic block block type with a single field called body. Now, what this module does under the hood is it defines a content entity called custom block. And block types are just bundles similar to fields. This means they are fieldable and you can modify the view mode the same way as you do on content types. Now that you have a good understanding, let's create a custom block. What we'll do is add some text to the footer. So creating a custom block is pretty simple. Just go back to blocks and then click on add custom block and enter in a description. We'll call this footer and let's just enter in the body. So think of this as some disclaimer text and then scroll down and click on save. Now we need to add this block to the footer region. So what we'll do is go to block layout. And if we have a look at the regions, I want to add it to this footer fifth right at the bottom. So scroll down to footer fifth. This is where the footer menu and powered by Drupal is. And then click on place block and you should see the block which we just created. It'll be under the category custom. So just click on place block and let's uncheck display title because we don't want a title to be displayed and we'll leave the visibility as is because we want this footer text to appear across the whole site. So just click on save block. Order it so it's right at the bottom and then click on save blocks. All right, let's go back to the front page and you should see the footer right below powered by Drupal. Now, if you want to modify this bit of text, you can do it in a few ways. You can click on the little cogwheel or contextual link and click on edit. And this will take you directly to the custom block edit form. And let's just enter in some text. Then if you click on save, you will see the text has been updated. Or you can go back to structure, block layout, custom block library, and you'll see this footer block which we created. So that's the two ways that you can modify custom blocks.